Good morning, everybody. Here's our beautiful strawberry cabbage lettuce. I think I'm gonna pick some and do a salad tonight with dinner. It's really lovely. I have more lettuce seeds sprinkled throughout back here. I've gotta get them watered this morning. We'll see how they do. You hear Buck, our little mini rooster in the background. I'm gonna harvest some of our microgreens for our salad tonight as well. They're looking really good. These are lentils. This is radish. Um, I think this is another type of radish. These I think are maybe the broccoli. I can't remember exactly. I had some Swiss chard up here, but it hasn't done as well. There's a little bit of it, and it's beautiful. It's a rainbow um, chard, but it's not as amazing. <laughs> so we'll see. Gonna come out and check on our chickens. I just wanted to show you how incredibly gorgeous it is today. It's supposed to get to 74 maybe. I'm sure in the sun it'll feel hotter than that. But can you see? Can you see all these beautiful? Ooh, there's a bee on that one. Can you see all these beautiful dandelions coming up in my yard? All the yellow. I let it grow on purpose. Spray it. I don't want him mowing it down before it goes to seed. I'm sure other people think I'm crazy, but I have some major dandelion love. Here, let me try to show you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. All of the dandelions. We have a lot. Last year, um, a friend of mine, it's actually Kurt's Aunt Kim. If you have watched my Modern Mountain Women episodes, um, Kim, who has the amazing trellised garden. She is actually Kurt's aunt. We are so fortunate to live kind of nearish them. And she came over last year and we came out with the kids in the yard and she picked a bunch of dandelions and harvested some roots and um, made the kids dandelion cookies as a thank you, which was pretty cool. So I've emailed her to see if she wants to come get some more this year and then I've got to get out here and get some. I absolutely love them, but because the house is listed, we want to keep the yard kind of tidy looking in mode. So, we're not gonna mow until I can harvest the dandelions as many as I can, and then it's all gonna get mowed down, which makes you really kind of sad. But you have to adjust when you're selling a house. So, I'm gonna come over here and show you. Hopefully it's not too wobbly. I had Ruben bring out the tripod, but um, I can't use it while I'm walking. Hello, girls. Oh, they went out so bad. I did let them out for a couple of hours last night, and they had the best time. Hi, babies. All right, so we... A few days ago, I think this maybe it's day four. We let, excuse the loud chicken to one out, we let the bantams out of this out here with the standard chicks to see how they did. There's a little tiny bit of head budding, not too terrible. Actually, the Polish have been the biggest brats, I think. If the chick, if any of the chicks are eating, the Polish will come over and like bump them out of their spot. It's kind of funny because they do it to the bigger ones too. But they've done okay. The only issue we had is the standard chicks will go in here like they're supposed to at night. Hey, buddy. And then the banties were all coming over here. So we'd have to come out and grab them and put them in here and put a board on it so that they couldn't just hop back out, which is really frustrating. So I put this here yesterday so that they couldn't get out. And then, of course, they came and they all like nested down right here. So we had to come and move them anyway. But I'm hoping here soon they'll figure out that that is their spot, the standard chicks, it only took them maybe four, four or five nights of coming out and putting them in and then they stayed in at night like they're supposed to, they just went in on their own. Hi babies, but for the most part they're getting along, they're super duper cute. Hey, that's Flash or Silky, I'm not sure if that's a rooster or a hen. Hi baby, that is one of our old English red hens. I don't know where Beck is. He is ridiculously cute. It, there is, oh hey, there's Fluffy Buffy. She's our most friendly chicken. Oh, he's got him. There is something so flipping cute about having this little mini rooster. He's only 10 weeks old. Very much a rooster. He's been crowing for at least five weeks. Hey, Buck! And he's tiny. I mean, Thatcher's seven and he's not a big kid, but <laughs> just this tiny little rooster. He's so flipping cute. And he's beautiful. His colors are coming in. His tail's starting to get longer. He's just a gorgeous, gorgeous little, little rooster. Hey, sweetie. We love having Buck. He's super sweet. So, we've had some mice, which is pretty common, but like we'll come out and there's a hole there that the mice run in and out of. 
And then I went to pull down this tarp the other night and there was a mouse in the tarp. And we have a mouse nest I would like to get at. This is their new thing that they're doing today and it scares the crap out of me. Hi, Miss Mercy. Everybody off. Hey, Frey. Here we go. So we're gonna come over here. I'm trying not to make you all too dizzy and ill feeling. All right, so, oh gosh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let me see what I can do. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but right there is quite the mouse nest. So, I need to try to get it out. I guess it's not hurting anything, but I kinda wanna get it out. Oh, and I'll show you. We planted last fall from here all the way down to that end raspberry plants we actually put in about 98 of them that was a lot so we knew not all of them would come up it just wasn't going to happen but these were little runners off of a local friends and some of them are starting to leaf out so i have no idea how many will make it the plan was to put them in knowing they wouldn't all make it and then the ones that did make it would have their own starts in a few years and we would just replant spots with those, so here we go. Here's one. There's some. What, Thatch? Oh, he's at the last one down there is what he said. So there's a lot. It's the whole row down. We'll see what actually happens. And then we actually planted a row of them there. But um, I did them last kind of like, oh, I ran out of room, and we'll see if any of them make it. And they may not have died. I don't know what they're going to do. Hey, girls. So we'll see. Anyway. I've got to try to figure out how to get at that mouse nest. I don't know if there's babies in it. Honestly, I have no idea when mice have babies, if it's specifically in the spring or whatever. I know you want out. I feel terrible. <sighs> They're going to be out all day, and I don't want them to mess up the yard. Oh, you know what? I don't care. Fine. They're going to be out. Yay, Apollo, get back here. Paul, come back. All right. Release the chickens. Release them all. Uh-oh. Evil dog of doom. Freya likes to chase the chickens. She doesn't catch them and hurt them. She just likes to chase them. She doesn't mess with the babies. But she messes with you guys. Hi, whoa, sweetie. Whoa, whoa. She just wants down to eat, buddy. Wait, where's okay. the red? That's his black sucker. Yeah, they may be lying. Freya! See that little turd? Hey, ma'am. Doom dog. Stop it. But I'm going to go figure out how to deal with the mouse nest and then I'll maybe try to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so it's super hard to hold this like this because I have wire right here. I'm pushing it with my head. But that's the nest. I don't know if there's babies in it. I have no idea when they made it. But it's quite the nest. Oh, so I'm going to see it. what we can do about getting it out. Alright, so I pulled out what I can. I'm probably going to have the kids come out with gloves and bag and a bag and bag it up. I don't want the chickens eating it. There's still probably a little bit left in there. It's really hard to deal with this wire. I'm all hunched over and can't stand up at all. So, that sucks. Yes, we were a little concerned there would be baby mice. Hi. Sorry to disturb you. Girls, you laying? Okie dokie. We put the buckets out here. They don't want to use the buckets. They just lay in the corner. So, but Thatcher... Hunch as I walk here. Thatcher. Ooh, my back. Hey, CD. Lifted this up and found another one, and I knew there was another one, another mouse over here the other day. Like the day before yesterday. But dang, they're quick. Look at this. Woo. There's waspy things. Oh, no, back up. There's waspy things all over. I hate wasps. I'm gonna get one of those wasp traps over here. I don't know what they got that was purple. But, so, another nest. That's awesome. Kurt wants to set up like a bucket with water in it. And then a friend of ours did it with like a PVC pipe, something. Something where the mice get stuck. And, I don't know, this seems so mean. But, we might have to. Hey! Hey, Fluffy Buffy. Did you not want to be pulled out of there? Are you perturbed? Sorry. You're okay. 
Careful, <laughs> bug. I pulled you out so I could um get you grass. All right, yeah. so. Freya! Oh, that puppy. I know you're a puppy, but you're being a butt. Stop. She knows better. Hey, that doesn't help right now. <sighs> As I said, she really doesn't bug the little chicks because they were inside for a while and we would pull them out and if she started to bug them, we'd scold her. But the bigger chickens, she's still chasing, being a turd about. So, they're going to come out and have some fun. I've got the little ones pen open. They come out occasionally and eat a little bit of grass, but not much. But yeah, so mouse problems. I need to hang one of those wasp thingies out here. We have one up by the house that did really well collecting wasps for us last year. So I think I'll get another one out here. Because I am I'm fine with bees. Wasps, not so much. And I've been stung before by a wasp on my leg when I was a teenager. It was on my, um, my thigh and my entire thigh swelled up. Part of it got green. I couldn't walk on it. It took two weeks for the swelling to go down. It was painful and unpleasant. So I really just, I have issues with wasps. I'm allergic to bee stings too, but I not bees terribly, have. terribly. Okay, but really wasps, what do they do good? You know, well, they eat other things. Like what, hornets? They eat uh, bugs and things that you don't want in the garden necessarily. But anyway, that's how the day has, is going this morning. Cleaning out stuff. Okay, Rue, could you go grab like gloves and bags and try to get the mouse stuff cleaned up. I don't want the chickens trying to eat the insulation. Here's Paolo catching chickens. Did you get one of the Polish? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, is that a fun chicken? Um, I'm going to let him go out here. Oh, you want to let it go out here so it can eat some grass? Let's see if that works. Okay, gentle. That's probably far enough. You're going to scare it. I, I guess it wasn't ready to come out. It was a little nervous. Freya. What are we Freya and Oliver are friends. Yeah. What are we harvesting the dandelions? I don't know. We might do it today. I'm going to go see if Aunt Kim emailed back about if she wants some this year or not. Awesome. No, I can't. You should see I the shadow of this thing. It looks like a gun. Uh -huh. There's a boy, all right. The neighbors finished the whole fence. I think it's really pretty. I like it. It looks good. I found a dandelion. They've talked about maybe having horses at some point. Oh, I should check on the blackberries right quick. This is just kind of like a chatty walk around, I guess. Fall on your butt there, buddy. Anything? No? Because I've not seen them butt out, and I don't know when they're supposed to. I can see it from here. You got one of the old English. He wants them to come play. Captain's out. I can see him right over there. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, the big chickens might not like her, so. But she's over there eating. So we'll see.